doesn't make sense to close down nuclear first. You should first close down coal, and then gas, and finally nuclear. The climate crisis went into religion and not to the solutions of real problem. So it's easy to protest against coal, it's easy to protest against gas, but it is difficult to protest for nuclear. And someone has to do this. a GoPro and this is the first ever vlog of the Ramsey United channel welcome I'm gonna go tomorrow on a bus full of Polish people who are protesting against the closure of nuclear plants in Germany they invited me to come along and observe I make these environmental movies these, these documentaries about climate change but I never bring up the nuclear issue because it divides people. If you would say you're pro-nuclear, then you lose half your audience. And if you say you're anti-nuclear, then you lose half your audience. And I'm trying to do something that unites people. But unfortunately, people are very divided already. I feel that it's the main thing that is dividing the environmental movement in Poland. I'm interested in doing my own exploration of this issue meeting people and figuring out what motivates them. It's almost 5 a.m. and we're going to be getting going on the way to Berlin very, very soon. to pick up some more people. We got about 20? How many, how many people would you say we have? 25? Something like that? I'm here because the climate crisis is the most important issue, political issue of our times. And most people don't seem to realize it because it does not impact them in their daily lives yet. Germans decommissioning their nuclear power plants is pretty much a done deal. So we're going there just to show that not everybody agrees with this decision. But I would really be naive if I believed that Germany would change their opinion because of this demonstration. We're almost there, almost to Berlin. That's my husband, Bogdan. Bogdan, me or me? No. Check it, check it. Uh, Stand up for the trees, for the atom, and for the phytoplankton, like we'll be in English. Phytoplankton. Fire, so phytoplankton, yeah. What should we make? Against the just the zero emission energy. No, Polacy chcą budować elektrownie jądrowe i Niemcy zamkną. Jak, jak, jak to czujesz a, o tym? Dla mnie to jest oczywista sprawa, ale dla wielu osób nie. I może. To, że robimy taki wysiłek, coś tam się obudzi w końcu, nie? The energy crisis that is engulfing the whole Europe might just convince the Germans to delay the decommissioning of the plants. Maybe not of all of them, but maybe of the ones that are to, due to be decommissioned in the, in the next year. And some demonstrations might give them some social license to do this. I think that the chance is very, very low, but it is not zero, so it's worth trying. I was looking for a cause that would have maximum impact with as little energy and resources we have. And this, what we are doing here, is the most forgotten stuff uh, ever. When we were planning this event, I thought, okay, uh, James Hansen needs to be here. He started this. He's the face of the pro-nuclear movement. And James, he risked his career. He risked his position in NASA. 
Massa in 1987 and 88 to talk about climate change. And he had this foresight, he knew what will happen. But it seems as if the German government is not going to backtrack on the anti-nuclear policy one inch. So what is your message to the German government? Yeah, well, of course I'm pointing out that it doesn't make sense to close down nuclear first. You should first close down coal and then gas and finally nuclear. But I don't expect to affect uh, German policy in that regard. However, what we do need to make sure is that Germany is not able to propagate its policies to the rest of the world. To, co się stanie w Niemczech, jeżeli chodzi o wyłączenie sprawnych elektrowni jądrowych produkujących czystą energię, to co się stanie tutaj, przesądzi o tym, co się będzie działo na całym świecie z mitygacją i adaptacją do zmian klimatu. W Europie jest kilka kolejnych krajów, które chcą rezygnować z atomu i jeżeli uda nam się zatrzymać to szaleństwo w Niemczech, to uratujemy Belgię, Szwajcarię, Hiszpanię i Szwecję. Germany, wake up! Leave nuclear power alone! Focus on coal and gas! Let other countries decarbonize their own way. Something is really, really wrong with your policy and with your debate. If people like, like James Hansen, they need to come to Berlin and tell you you're wrong. Germany has helped Poland a lot. And now it's, we feel obliged to come and help you. This is what friends are for. If we allow gas to be treated as, as if it were renewable energy, then we will not have any chance of meeting the targets that young people are demanding of one and a half degrees or even two degrees will become almost impossible. So what we're doing instead is putting uh, young people in a situation in which those goals are not going to be met. That's why I say that the eyes of history are going to judge Germany very poorly. Not as many people as I was expecting, only maybe a couple of hundred. It's like the people who are into this are really, really serious. And they have the signs and they know what to say. But then it's like the rest of the world just doesn't get it. They don't care. They're walking by and people just don't understand what this is about. Hi. Hello. Ja mam trójkę małych dzieci i ogólnie no, chciałbym, żeby miały jakoś przyszłość w zasadzie za lat 20, 30, 40. Jeżeli jest strajk klimatyczny z Gretą, tak. to mają 100 tysięcy osób, tak. ale kiedy mówimy o energii jądrowej, ma 200. No właśnie. Dlaczego? Większość ludzi w ogóle nie, roz, nie jest w stanie rozdzielić tak naprawdę energii jądrowej od na przykład broni jądrowej. Ja pracuję w branży akumulatorów, ale no zdaję sobie sprawę po prostu, że no nie powstanie żadna super bateria, bo brakuje nam surowców na to, tak żeby jakoś globalnie duże miasta utrzymywać bez prądu. Energetyka jądrowa jest stabilna, działa 24 na dobę, cały rok może działać niezależnie od pogody, jest bezpieczna. Thank you. Why are there not enough 
people here? Social climate movements, especially youth social climate movements, should and must make some decisions. We need help. We need help from Greta Thunberg. We need help from Fridays for Future, from Greenpeace. We shouldn't fight only by ourselves. We know that nuclear may scare people, but we also know that fear is usually caused by lack of knowledge and fake news. We do not agree to the construction of fossil fuel power plants because of the gap in the energy system. Greta says, listen to the scientists. Greta is right, we need to listen to the scientists. The IPCC is very clear about this. The IEA is very clear about this. The Joint Research Council in Europe is very clear about this. Nuclear needs to be part of the solution. So either we listen to the scientists or we know better. And historically, we know it's very difficult to argue with physics. We can share clean energy with the world and end energy poverty and solve the climate crisis all at once. I know it is scary sometimes. I was handing out flyers last night and people were saying, oh, I don't want that, oh, I don't want that. But at the same time, we must persevere. We must push through because we know that we have the answer to our problems. You're in the middle of Berlin, you're making noise. Yeah. And there's only 200 people and people just walk by and they, they don't. I, I think it's always darkest because before the dawn. Some people say, and, and we even say to ourselves, it's a Don Quixote effort, uh, but it needs to be done. It is something deeply, deeply uh, right to do. I think it's much easier to protest against something than to protest for something. So it's easy to protest against coal, it's easy to protest against gas, but it is difficult to protest for nuclear. And someone has to do this. Because if we want to solve climate change, we have to be for something. Nuclear power holds a key to universal prosperity. It is nuclear energy we must embrace for the human race. And if we build it, history will show was the right way to go. No. Shutting down nuclear power plants is not exactly the best idea. And even though the event was kind of small, I think the message would be well heard. What the organizers meant to achieve, they did achieve. All right, the rally is over. A lot of passion for the nuclear, a lot more passion than I expected. And it's hard to know what is going to be the future of this movement, because you have the weight of uh, big name scientists like James Hansen, but at the same time, even the people in Berlin here don't seem to be that interested in it. We're gonna go and eat a nice meal now, and then we're gonna get on the bus and drive back to Warsaw. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I hope I will do more of this type of thing. I think that we can, we can make more short form environmental content like this and start more discussions. I'm back in Warsaw. We got back around 2.30 in the morning last night. You know, I'm interested now to probably go and speak to some people in the Polish and German anti-nuclear movement and see what kind of reaction there is. 
So, Marek from Greenpeace is gonna hook me up with the nuclear people and we're gonna talk about it, right? Sure. We're gonna do it because I wanna get the Greenpeace side of the nuclear.